my, my take on the day after disclosure and the month and year after disclosure is that it's going to be very disruptive. It's not going to bring utopia. It's going to bring a lot of problems. It'll exacerbate, not ameliorate, most of the social issues that we have right now. Because think about it. If disclosure happens, short of the president bringing a gray alien on the podium, chances are disclosure will not happen with an alien present. So let's say it doesn't happen that way. Let's say the president just makes a statement and says this is real. So that's going to open up the, the cultural divide even further. There will be people, Christian evangelists, who will say that these are demons. There will be uh, New Agers out in California who will say that these are our space brothers and the Galactic Federation of Light here to help us ascend to the next density. There is no bridge long enough to cover that gap in belief. So that argument will just become greater and greater. Uh, and then you'll have a lot of other, you know, a lot of other debates. Um, are they friend, are they foe, just more generally. Uh, there will definitely be fear. How great, how great will the fear be? I don't know, but it can, it could be enough to be disruptive. Um, but then, you know, you have the political blowback. There are people who have what you might call a dog-like obedience to authority who will just take anything the government says and, okay, great. Oh, you kept this secret for our safety for all these years, great. Not everyone will be like that. So there will be a lot of people who will be angry at the um, fact that they've been lied to for an entire, you know, generation after generation. So what will that result in? What will happen with a, a citizen movement? We've had Occupy Wall Street. What about Occupy Area 51? Occupy Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. You think that's possible? I do. And so there'll be a lot of angry people who will be engaged in their own activism. They want to find out. Um, then you look at what I feel is really maybe the center of this, which is the energy paradigm. I feel that energy is key to this. Whatever these objects use to, to traverse the skies, it is not petroleum, whatever that is. So by acknowledging the reality of UAP or UFOs, implicitly we're going to recognize that there's another source of energy. And how long will it take before we realize what that source is? My guess is not very long. Because the biggest obstacle in achieving the next paradigm of energy is simply realizing that it exists at all. Once you realize it exists, you're going to get to it. So implicit in a post-disclosure world is a post-petroleum global infrastructure, which is really monumental. Not to mention socially, culturally, religion. Absolutely. The whole religious foundation that we've been living our lives and fighting wars over from, for millennia. Right. That story changes. It does change. I feel that the energy paradigm changes it much more. I'm, I'm not really a believer that the, re the religions will change. My co-author and I had um, a certain take on this back then, and his opinion, he, he held this more strongly than I did, was that the religions would probably be very stable, uh, that re people's religious beliefs would, you know, people hold on to them. I think that's probably true, but what we didn't really ask is what would happen over the generations. You know, when, when young people grow up in a post-disclosure world, are they really going to be able to maintain the... Um, you know, the desert sky god faiths of uh, 2,000 plus years ago from people who are just totally different and, and with a completely different worldview than what we have today, with now this new reality coming in. I don't know. I think that it would change a lot. So I think that disclosure would have a, a corrosive or wearing away effect of the traditional, um, you know, the, the desert religions, as I call them, the desert sky god religions. Um, and it, it could, you know, it would change our view of what we are in the world, as well as uh, our scientific knowledge. I think there would be a, kind of a renaissance of science. Um, you know, the implications of having a ultra, super intelligent, super telepathic race of beings that have been interacting here, that, that's a, a real mind revelation, if nothing else. And I think it would spur a lot of new thinking in a lot of ways, culturally as well. So, what it sounds like to me is that you've given me a lot of reasons why we shouldn't disclose. Well, you know, and the reason, here's another reason. What if we don't disclose and we just go through the rest of our history living a foundational lie like a bunch of five-year-olds? It's basically being spoon-fed BS for the rest of our lives by a system that really is not looking out for our best interest. I didn't say disclosure would be easy, but what is the alternative? 
just living in a fiction 24-7. Some people are very happy with that. I'm really not happy with that. So I could imagine after disclosure, we're in this messy, messy world, and some people would say, you know, Dolan was one of those people pushing for disclosure. That blankety-blank so-and-so. Well, fine. Um, I didn't say it would be easy. The truth isn't always easy, but isn't it time to grow up every, you know, after a certain enough period of time has elapsed? I think we're ready for a new phase in our civilization. This is my, my hope, my faith, that we're actually ready for something a little bit better than the, the ridiculous cultural nonsense that just infantilizes, infantiles us. In, make, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I think we're better than the uh, ridiculous, nonsensical pop culture that just is all around us that keeps us as children. You know, for our whole lives, I really feel that it does. I think disclosure, one thing that it would do, I envision for billions of people around the world, with this revelation that these others are here. And, you know, I'm not even getting into yet who they are, what they are, but they're different. And I can imagine a lot of people having this feeling, recognizing that these other beings are here, and then thinking, wow, have I just been wasting my entire life sitting around watching stupid television all all day long, we're doing whatever. When there are these other, when there's this other reality that's here, I, I think that disclosure will have that kind of a different kind of shock and awe, a good kind of shock and awe, not like the kind the U.S. military does, but something that will wake us up. And you want to know higher consciousness? That's my take on higher consciousness. Um, I don't, I don't see, you know, us plas passing through the galactic plane and our DNA activating and like the universe flips a switch on us. That's the cheap, easy, lazy way to higher consciousness and I don't believe in that. But I do believe in higher consciousness as a result of effort, as a result of introspection and work. That's, for me, the only kind that's worth pursuing. And I think that a disclosure event would um, trigger a, a self-reflection that I hope would be something that would be you know, worthy of what the human race is capable. So, that's my last question. If you were a betting man, what dis is disclosure coming in if it is, in what format will it be? Yeah, it's a really good question. I, I'm thinking um, it will happen. If I were to lay down a year, I would, I would give it 90% within 20 years. That seems really conservative, but I'll just say that. The real issue is we're in this race. It's the people against um, what I call our handlers, those people at the top of our pyramid who are really our puppet masters and want to control us. And they are working assiduously at doing that. So my feeling is we want to achieve a disclosure or forced disclosure before they do it themselves. We don't, we don't want them to have control over the narrative. We want to have that narrative kind of wide open so that it's not packaged, like a false flag would be, where you, all the truths are just packaged in this nice, neat little corporate bubble that people just, you know, has dispensed toward the people. We don't want that. So it's up to us to drive this process. And if the government were, if the U.S. government were to disclose this reality in the pr presidential election year of 2016, it would be up to a lot of engaged people, myself included, to make sure that the true narrative of this phenomenon is out and available to as many people as possible. What, you, what we do not want at all is for a government narrative to dominate uh, a post-disclosure world. I think that would be a real problem. Stephen Bassett suggested that the legacy for someone like Obama, who he believes will be the disclosure president, not Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. that just when he's leaving the office, right back in November or before November, right. <clears throat> that his legacy, his Nobel Prizes, his contribution to the planet Earth in terms of being known is to disclose the biggest story of all time, the UFO story or the UAP right. connection. That is what it may come down to versus Putin or somebody from China who could come in and take that glory that will rewrite history and define that person 
for thousands of years. Well, I'm actually rooting for Putin or the Chinese to do disclosure. I think it would actually be a problem. Not, the more I think about this, like if America were to do it, I, I think it would be a really bad thing because it, really the United States has become the force of evil in this world. Let's just put it out there for what it is. The United States has become Shiva, destroyer of worlds. We destroy entire nations. We, I'm not saying me, the U.S. destroys entire nations in its wake and has, leaves only suffering. You know, the people of the United States have little awareness of just what their nation has become in their own name. And it is a tragic, it's the tr most tragic story of my lifetime. Breaks my heart. So, but the bottom line is that the United States really has to be stopped, not, not helped. And so if, if President Obama were to do a disclosure, to have a, a UFO disclosure, you know, I, on the one hand, I suppose it could be something that he could leverage for U.S. power in one way or another. I, f I still feel the, the negative implications are greater than any positive implications or any positive re uh, repercussions would be. Um, I, you know, I've been wrong about things in the past. I, I reserve the right to be wrong for, about things in the future. But I, I don't see it happening. I don't see President Obama doing a disclosure, and I don't see Hillary Clinton. These are people whose only goal has been, forget the rhetoric, the rhetoric is meaningless, their only goal has been to promote U.S. empire and what we might, we might call a globalist neoliberal agenda, which is essentially handing over the world to transnational corporations at the expense of people. That's really all they ever do. Everything else is just propaganda, spin, whatever. Their actual policy is Neoconservatism, empire building, and neoliberal globalization. That's the pillars of American policy. And Obama, or George W. Bush, or Hillary Clinton, or Dick Cheney, who is basically Hillary Clinton's twin brother, essentially, they're all the same people. That's what they do. So when people talk to me about, like, well, Hillary's going to disclose, I think, why? Because John Podesta, her campaign manager, is interested in this? Because they think it's a good idea for the people? I don't believe that. I just don't believe that these individuals, and not just Hillary, it's any of these folks at the top, I just don't see them acting in any way on behalf of the people. Um, and I don't see disclosure as working toward their self-interest. So if there's something I'm missing, well, we'll find out. Because if there is a genuine attempt to disclose this before the presidential election, I will have to reanalyze why I was wrong and figure it all out.